Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. In this video I'm just gonna kinda go over my Venti build, like an updated version of my Venti build, and just kinda give a review of the few months that I had Venti, and just kinda give an oversight to either newer players to the game, or if, if you're willing to you know, pull Venti in a future rerun, hopefully maybe this will help. So here, let's get right into it. So, um, the first thing I wanna show is of course, you know, he's level 90, he has almost 2k attack 1825 and his elemental mastery is 284 and i'll show you you know just quick details really quick just say 28 percent crit rate 64 percent crit damage and energy recharge at a 211 percent i don't really see him as my main dps so i'm not too worried if i don't get these extremely high because he's not really the one that's supposed to be outputting the most damage on the team but I, of course, having these two, the crit rate and crit damage uh, for him would help a lot with his ultimate and his uh, elemental skill as well. The weapon I am using is the Favonius Warbow. The reason I use the Favonius Bow, the Warbow is for two reasons. The energy recharge, so I can get my ultimate faster, of course. And then, of course, the crit, the effect, the crit hits have an 80% chance to generate a small amount of elemental particles for the ultimate as well. So in case, like, if I use this elemental skill, this guy works down at once and hits the enemies and I get the Anemo particles, and if it doesn't fully give it to me, then I could just spam his bow sometimes and and it'll, it'll, you'll get the effect, or you could just get the effect off the uh, critical hit with your Skyward Sonnet as well. And then we're going to get to the artifacts. We'll start with the main two the flower and the feather the stats i kind of look for venti at the moment is in this order really it would now it's attack percent the critical rate critical damage and elemental mastery and the reason for that is because i'm using the favonius warbow and you know his ascension uh, leveling he gets energy recharge as well so he doesn't need it as much for the stats but having energy recharges would be the fifth one if i can't get the other the other four also i'm using the veridescent veneer which is you know the two piece gives me a nemo bonus damage that's for his ultimate and for his elemental skill and of course the four piece does the increased world damage by 60 percent. this is really good for his ultimate and it decreases opponent's elemental resistance to the element infused by 40 percent. this is huge for just working together with your team. I'm trying to think of the word, your team composition. There we go. That's the word I was trying to think of. Um, so I'll give like an example. Say I have D Luke, right? And I use his elements of skill, which is turns his blade on fire and hits the enemy and they catch on fire, right? I'll switch to Venti and with his elements of skill, you could just press it and it will summon like kind of like this little Anemo circle under him and it'll, it'll go up in the air and hit it'll hit him with like a burst of uh, anemo damage and when it does that it'll, it'll proc this wall effect which will proc this effect and which will reduce the resistance to pyro by 40 percent so then i could technically just change back to d luke and then start hitting him and it'll take increased damage to pyro so that's kind of like a, a situation where you would use venti with this set and it's really good and of course for his ultimate it's extremely good uh, because his ultimate actually picks up any element that it, it gets in contact with the, the the burst or the ultimate first, and it it would get swirled into the ultimate, so it would be it would be it would turn into that uh, element. So it it would be pyro, and it would just start doing a ton of pyro damage, and because of the the resistance, you know, of course his uh, Nemo bonus damage, and then with the swirl damage increase, and then on top of that with the the resistance uh, lowered for the enemy, you're just doing tons and tons of damage. Uh, to the enemy this is why this this set specifically is really really good for venti just because how his ultimate works and also his his elemental skill yeah this is a good set right here the hp is a good set the flower is a another good set right here critical ray attack percent elemental mastery this is something uh you would look for not the best hp is something i wouldn't really want too much and with this one i did change it to attack percent because once I changed to this set here, I kind of want to do a little bit more damage to Venti. I didn't, I wasn't worried about getting his ult too, too fast because I did have his energy recharge instead. And he did get his, his ultimate a little quicker, not much quicker, but it's still, I think it was like maybe two elements of skills. 
now now i think it takes two and a couple of critical hits it really just depends if you're hitting them with your ultimate stuff like in the situation but you'll definitely get it a lot faster with the energy recharge cup but because i want him to do just a little bit more damage to support to help me out with taking out the higher level enemies because you know now i'm world level seven so a lot of the enemies are higher level so i definitely want to try to use a little bit more damage uh, because he gets his alt really fast still so i would say losing the energy recharge with him isn't too bad and i would kind of recommend going that route but if you feel like it's not getting fast enough then i would definitely just go for the energy recharge hourglass with the uh the goblet this is what's supposed to be the anima bonus damage of course i i do have an anima bonus damage but the cup isn't that good i might change to it i might think of it but like here's one it's decent i might get lucky and go to full full crit rate so i might try it honestly in the future when i have the spare resources but at the moment he still does a decent amount of damage and when, I, when i'm reviewing him um i'll switch into like gameplay of like him killing people in the background so you could kind of see uh, the amount of damage and what he could really do and then the last one is of course the hat which i have elemental mastery on it and the reason i have elemental mastery because i think uh whenever they're in the swirl uh it actually procs more damage for the swirl and also for the element that's infused in it as well so if the pyro that gets caught in it they'll do more damage and then of course because of the effect they're the resistance that element is lowered so you're just doing a lot more damage which is just overall good for the team because you definitely want to just try to melt everything as fast as you can but yeah and that's really the the artifacts that i'm rocking and yeah and that's that's really that i have them constellation zero nothing to see here really and his talents the one that i'm leveling up is his all because that's really his best ability of course it's his ultimate it's a reason why it's his ultimate but uh that's the one I'm leveling up. And yeah, that's really uh, it for the build. And I kind of want to just give an honest review of Venti as well. I've had him for a couple months now. I would say three, four months now, roughly since the release of the game, maybe like a week after I managed to get him. Overall, he's probably my second favorite character in the entire game behind, I would say, Child, then Deluke. Deluke is my main DPS, but I, I enjoy Child's uh, abilities more than Deluke's. Getting back to Venti, he's overall just a great character. His exploration and his ways to get around the map is actually really fun. He makes it a lot easier to climb and save stamina and... Uh, just getting round traverse a lot easier. That's a, that's a really good reason to have Venti, to be honest. The the next thing is he's just really good at crowd control. He's insanely insanely good at crowd control. It's it's actually nuts. I, I think he is the best support in the game by far, just because how how well his crowd control ability is and how well he he is for a team composition as well. I feel like you could put him almost on any team and it would work really well. Just because he's just main, he's mainly about crowd control. He just sucks people up. The downfalls that he does have is that larger enemies aren't really phased by him. It, it, it's kind of like the wind blowing against like a brick wall. Like the bigger enemies just don't really get affected as much. Um, but it's ultimate, even even against the bigger enemies, his ultimates can still do a lot of damage to them if you place it, if you like position yourself properly into like to a point where you could get them into the all, even though they could just like kind of walk out of it. Um, you can still do kind of damage to them. Most of the time, the bigger, like the medium side, like the bigger enemies, I wouldn't say medium, the bigger enemies, though they can just walk out of it and um, kind of making Bentley, Venti not as useful. But major, I would say like maybe 85% of the time, Venti is really, really useful. Because um, majority enemies for 2E agents, um, the Sissian mages, uh, the, pyre, the, the normal um, abyss mages, once their shield is broken, they'll get sucked up by his ultimate. They'll either get pushed up with his E. There's just a, there's a bunch of different ways to crowd control. His elemental skill pushes enemies into the air. So, you know, a few of the enemies will just get launched into the air. That's one uh, good way to do it. His elemental skill has a low cooldown as well if you just press it. I think it's like four or five seconds. So you can consistently get the swirl effect with if you manage to get the four piece uh, veneer. And if you're using like a specific character, say Kaching or Faisho or like Electro and like you can have Oz out, right, with Faisal. Have Oz hit him, give him Electro damage, switch to Venti, Swirl, and now he takes more Electro damage because his element for Electro is 
the resistance is lower. And that's just with his E without even using his ultimate. And then of course you could hold the E and it'll do even more damage. So like there's, and then you can actually get out of like certain situations in combat while holding his E. So there's just like many, many situations where Venti comes in clutch. The only downfall is like the bigger enemies and then also elemental sh like the shields. He does all right, but it's not a like really effective at all like he, he could damage the shield but not as effective as the uh, opposite element that you need so it's just really elemental shields and the bigger enemies are pretty much venti's weakness i would say and the only issues that i've seen with him in in that case but most of the time he works really well with anybody and and his basic attack is not that good if you're not building him for as your main dps but mostly main dps takes constellations i don't want to say you can't build a major main dps because you totally can you won't be as effective as maybe a child or a deluke so to say just because how they're built more for just kind of being in battle just up front just in the battle if you know what i mean venti seems more more of a support character than anything but you could definitely build him as a main dps that's not an, i don't want to say that's an issue but yeah overall hopefully this uh kind of this build and the review kind of gives you insight so whenever a rerun does come out or maybe if you just need to know how to build them it helped you out and if it if you did enjoy the video if you're watching this long i really appreciate it if you guys like subscribe and you guys have a wonderful rest of your day thanks again for watching